Well, we definitely did slide in, so the rock slides are true to their name. Because we only just missed the power box. I mean, I like, quite like the look of it. I think it's an engineering feat. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock and it's already super busy here. Happy New Year! Welcome back to another video. This is our first one for 2024. We're kicking this one off in the Paluma Ranges area. Uh, we're staying at the Crystal Creek Caravan Park and a short little drive down the road is a nice little creekside spot that's dog friendly. So we're gonna go pop in for a swim. Check this out. This is a nice little spot for the afternoon. Ready water pup. It's his first time trying his life jacket out. We Good got this go. one from Anaconda. BCF. BCF, same set. <laughs> Come on pup. Hey! Come on! Let's go! Good boy, let's go! Hey! Oh, what a nice work there! Oh, yeah! Oh, nice and cool in here. Yeah, this is hot, isn't this it? This is beautiful. We just found this spot on Wiki Camps. Looks like there's a few of these spots that uh, run up and down this stream. So, this is Crystal Creek. You've got Big Crystal Creek, Little Crystal Creek, and some awesome spots around here. They're not all dog friendly, but this one is. <laughs> He's actually <laughs> Good boy, good boy. Absolutely lovely. It's so nice to be back in the beautiful, fresh, clean water again. It's so nice. Well, we're gonna put the GoPro down and enjoy a beautiful swim. We are all refreshed after our swim at Crystal Creek and we're back at the caravan park. So we're staying at Crystal Creek Caravan Park. This one is a little bit of a hidden gem, I think. When you look at the map, it's just behind a roadhouse, which aren't usually the most glamorous caravan parks, but this one is so tropical and lush. Look how pretty our site is. You've got Rolling Stone Caravan Park about five, 10 minutes up the road, which is also another great spot to stay. But we did that last time, so we thought we'd change it up. And this one is half the price as well. We've also chose to stay here because it's dog friendly. We can leave Juice in the van for a couple of hours and go explore in the National Park over the next couple of days. We have just come out to Paradise Waterhole, AKA Big Crystal Creek for a swim this morning. It's actually cloudy. Cloudy, a little bit of drizzle, but it doesn't feel cold. So we're super keen for a swim and it's gonna be wicked. Last time we were here, it was in the dry season. There was lots of water, but I feel like today is gonna be just a little bit different. I feel like it's gonna be heaps more flowing. Should be good. Fingers crossed anyway. This is stunning. I'm so happy we're back here. This is like one of the prettiest biggest water holes we've found in Queensland. It's that really like nice deep blue colour. The sun has come out just as we've left Paradise Swimming Hole and now we're on to the rock slides. The rock slides is another two kilometers into the National Park. We thought we'd bet the crowds this morning, but Ooh. it's 10 o'clock and it's already super busy here. We're in that between Christmas and New Year's period and I think lots of people have time off work, which means it's busy. Well, that's going to be plan B if the rock pools are too busy. We'll just hop in the shallow water in the creek. It's not too far of a walk. Might be about maybe a K all up. So why it's called the rock slides is because you can slide down the rocks like a slippery dip. 
you might be able to see some people sliding down the rocks just behind us. All alone again tonight, but you don't seem to forget about yourself. We're on a little bit of a mission now to try and find a pool with no one in it. Just don't want to get bitten by a snake in the meantime. Let me tell you about the trees and the seas, how it's all connected. This is us, you beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we definitely did slide in, so the rock slides are true to their name. So slippery, but so nice in the water too. Well, that was really good. We are all finished with our swimming in the national park for today. So we're going to go grab juice. We're going to go head to a nice little creek and go find somewhere to go for a bit of a swim. We have found another awesome spot for a cool down, which is dog friendly. I don't know the exact name at the moment, but we'll find it on Wikicamps and put it up here for you to find. It's not far from where we're staying at the Crystal Creek Caravan Park, only about five minutes down the road. So this one's awesome because you can park up literally right next to the creek. It's not very deep, but it is nice to sit in there with your chair, have a drink, and for Juice to have a bit of a paddle and a cool down. We are on our way up the Paluma Range to Little Crystal Creek. You see lots of people have their Instagram photos here. It's got this beautiful old bridge and then a really crystal clear creek running through it. It's a little bit of a sketchy road up the mountain. I mean, Bryce doesn't really think so, but... Nah, no, it's fine. <laughs> but I'm a little bit nervous in the car. It's pretty much one way. I mean, it's not a very wide road. It's super windy. We have made it through the windy mountain to Little Crystal Creek. Nope, not going in the water. Venomous fish. Changed my mind. <laughs> Isn't that stonefish? Yeah, very similar. Super tropical, so very hot and steamy up here in the mountain. We're gonna hop in the water, hopefully find a fairly secluded pool. There's all these little rock pools staggered down and we're gonna try and find a good one to have a swim in. Well, we've been super lucky. We actually had that whole area to ourselves for a little while. So now we're gonna go brave the crowds as we head back down. And we're being a little bit cheeky. We're gonna use last time's drone footage. It's gonna be a little bit more darker and less people around, but it'll show it off nicely. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. I know you don't wanna face it. We love bringing juice everywhere we like to go as well, um, but unfortunately national parks is a big no-no for dogs and some people think they are kind of the exception of the rule. There was a couple of dash hounds down there. It's just frustrating because you try to do the right thing and then some people still do the wrong thing, but what do you do? Morning. We are on our way out of Crystal Creek Caravan Park this morning and we're heading somewhere up the road. All we know is today we have to stop in Ingham and stock up on some food and then we're going to head up the road to Lucinda we think. Now I haven't called the caravan park yet and it's a peak time of year so this is over like New Year's time. I don't think it's going to be super busy. So Juice and I are in the car waiting for Bryce because he's in the doctors. He's got an emergency appointment because he's had a really bad back the last couple of days and he needs something a bit stronger than Panadol. 
While we've been waiting for him, I've given the big four in Lucinda a call and apparently they've got heaps of availability. So we're gonna head there in a little while after Bryce is done in the doctors. And then I might be driving for the next few days. If he gets some uh, strong painkillers, I don't know what the driving situation is with them. So I might be towing the van. Good news for me, uh, I managed to get some painkillers from the doctors and uh, just got to take it easy. So Chelsea gets to do the heavy lifting for the next couple of days. And she's pretty lucky because she was about to have to move this caravan by hand because we only just missed the power box. <laughs> So when we're backing in, I was like, we'll go all the way back into the site. Like we've got a big site, let's let's utilize it. Let's get in the shade. And I nearly stuffed up. <laughs> nearly. We were putting the awning out. Brass is like, oh no. Oh no. Missed it by that much, I reckon. <laughs> That's all right. We have managed to get in for a couple of nights at the Big Four in Lucinda. We've never been here before and we're really interested to see the views of Hitchinbrook Island and see the massive jetty that's here. And a big back saver for me this morning was that electric blackjack. That made it so much easier. Push of a button up, push of a button down, saves you winding away or even if you're jacking the trailer mate, big help. We're feeling pretty out of place in Lucinda. I think we're the only ones in the whole town who don't have a boat. Yeah, there's some <laughs> real big boats around too. Some nice ones, but yeah, everyone, there's so many boats here. Everyone's out, well, coming back from going out fishing and stuff, it's crazy. All right, Chels, don't drop juice over the edge. If you go in the water, mate, chances are you're probably not gonna come back out. What a scary thought. Might be not so bad here with the amount of boats cruising around. Yeah, you probably. It is so cruising. busy here. Everyone's getting their uh, last fishes in for the uh, 2023. The wind has just kicked up in the last hour or so, and I think everyone's bringing their boats in. They've had enough. But it'd be interesting to see. You've got that's Hitchinbrook Island in the background. How much protection that the island must give them from the wind? As we've just found out from the sign, just nestled behind me here, Lucinda's got the longest service jetty in the Southern Hemisphere, and it's about 5.76 kilometers long. That was quite a tongue twister. Say that again, but like five times faster. Uh, so, <laughs> um, pretty impressive though. It's actually really cool. Um, and then there's a nice little baby jetty on the other side that we hope we can get to, but we're not really sure how to get to it yet. super excited i was like bryce there's zoe falls 20 kilometers from lucinda accessible accessible via boat we don't have a boat damn again only ones without a boat yeah would have been handy but then again i don't know if a three and a half meter tinny or something with the crocodiles in this area would be all that much fun anyway all righty tonight's dinner is chicken burgers and check out these bad boys Chelsea's done herself a bit of a marinade on them and they look really good. The marinade is super simple, just some staples we've got in the caravan. So salt, paprika and chilli powder. You've got to have the chilli powder in there for a bit of a kick. And then for an extra little bit of a sweet treat, a bit of pineapple to chuck on top. How good do these look? Check them out. You can't even see the bun on mine. <laughs> Whoops. Yours is bunless. Hey Siri, what's the weather in Lucinda today? The Australian Government Bureau of Meteorology has issued an extreme heat until tomorrow. Expect partly cloudy skies today. Good morning. We're up fairly early, like every day. We like to have a coffee in bed and then head off on a morning walk. We have to walk deuce fairly early in the morning, otherwise it just gets way too hot outside.
We're out for a bit of a sightsee this morning and we've come across a heap of mango trees. They don't look like they're on anyone's property. They're literally just on the side of the road. So we've pulled over. We're going to try and pick some. New beauty. And we can use the canopy. Yeah, use a ladder on the back of the canopy, stand up on the top and get the good ones. There's some really good ones just on the ground. Ah, a little bit more. Oh, little bit back actually. <laughs> Perfect. But you're going to have to do it. Alrighty, show us a haul. Look at all them. And 99% of them are just off the ground. So we picked a couple of really green ones off the trees. Then they ripen at different times. What we're going to do, even if they're not the best quality mangoes, we're going to freeze them anyway, so it doesn't even matter. No, you beauty. Letting all the mozzies in. Yeah, come on, in your hop, quick. Wait, I've got to wash my hands. Yeah. Tell them about mango burn. Oh, so you've got to be really careful with mango burns. So if you pull them from the trees, apparently the stems and the sap in that, if it lands on your skin and you're out in the sun, it can actually cause really bad burns. And Chelsea's got a couple burns on her eyes and on her arms and stuff just from it the other day. So make sure to have a wash once you've picked your mangoes. Show us a couple of your mango burns. Oh. Uh couple on my chest you can't really see these ones too bad at the moment they were a few days ago and then on your face a couple of red spots up the top there they're not all pimples they're just mango burn and then i got one on my chest here actually a couple on my chest here yeah no good just going for a bit of a cruise down the main street of halifax and there's so many mangoes everywhere the whole street of the town that we just went through has mango trees and there's all mangoes on the ground people are just driving through them it's crazy. You don't feel guilty for picking side of the road mangoes here because everyone just lets them drop on the ground because there's just so many of them. We have a huge bag back at the caravan of unripe mangoes as well. I don't know how we're gonna fit them all in the freezer. Wow, look at that, and all over the ground. The whole tree is chockers. How unlucky would you have to be if you were like walking down the street of Halifax and then a mango dropped on your head? Oh, they look like the big bone ones. Ooh. We don't need any more. We have so many. We don't need any more, but we do. We've come out to Taylor's Beach, which is probably 15 minutes from where we're staying at Lucinda. It's a really nice little town so far. Yeah, it's really good. So we had the pick out of Lucinda, Taylor's Beach, and there's one more that we're going to go to next. Um, you but can't we, remember the name, can you? No, I can't. <laughs> but um, we picked Lucinda because it was seemed like a bigger one and it had a nicer pool. But I um, feel like we could be regretting our decision already. This is a really nice little town and they've got like a nice walking track along the whole front. It's mm, quite cool. So we come for a look out to Forest Beach. This is the one I forgot before. And it's always, um, you get a little bit of regret when you go check out the other places that you could have stayed at. Because this one's got a really nice hotel next to it and it actually looks really nice. Hot chippies by the beach. As much as we would have loved to go to that pub, uh, that hotel, we thought we better start saving some money because we got a couple of things planned for the new year. Um, we're gonna be heading to Bali for my mum's 60th in the end of January. And then we've got a rather big expense in April. Now we're not gonna to go too much into detail about that, but you can just use your imagination about what you think might be happening. If you've got any good ideas, feel free to drop them in the comments. Otherwise, we'll uh, keep you posted as it gets closer. And then we'll also chuck a PayPal link in there too if you <laughs> wanna send us some money. <laughs> no, we are busy saving away and narrowing down the spending so that we can, um, yeah, hopefully have a very exciting 2024. While we're out and about, we thought we'd pop back into Ingham and do the Taito Wetlands Walk. So this one starts from the Information Centre in Ingham. They've also got a dump point and water here that you can fill up with. It looks like it's a nice big circuit walk. This will be Juice's third walk for the day, so he's pretty happy. And we're pretty happy too because it's overcast and a bit drizzly to keep the temperature down. Can you see the little turtle? 
Sorry we didn't bring any of the chips. I reckon people feed him from up here. No. He knows this is where he comes for food. Yeah, they do. There's like 10 turtles swimming over to us. <laughs> hey guys. Yeah, and there's some at the back. No, seriously, look at them all. They're trying to go through the reed, like the lily pads, and they're getting stuck. Can you see any comb crested jacana? You said it better. Comb crested jacanas. Very rare species of bird. Yeah, no, I think they're pretty common here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I can hear the call of a comb crested jacana. A rotten plover, I reckon. <laughs> This is actually a really nice little walk in Ingham. So if you're heading through the town and you want somewhere to park with the caravan, you can always park at the information center. There's heaps of parking and do the Toto Wetlands walk. It's a bit of a loop. You can see heaps of turtles and fish and there's also some crocodile warning signs. So if you're lucky, you might even see a little fresh in here. We've organised ourselves a couple of body sodas and we're sitting down on the beach overlooking Hitchinbrook Island and the eyesore of this huge, huge jetty. I mean, I like, quite like the look of it. I think it's an engineering feat. <laughs> really, mate? Juice, hey, if you're going to do it, dig that way. <laughs> oh, that's, that's better. better. living his best life. <laughs> yeah. Imagine being this dog. How lucky of a life. We actually do say that quite often, how lucky Juice is. Goes to breweries with us all the time, which we haven't done in a while, no. so we might have to look into that. Three walks today. Yeah, just living the dream. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this video. We are on our way out of Lucinda and heading to Mission Beach. If you've liked these ones, please make sure to like and subscribe and we'll catch you next Sunday.